Hello everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Nicole. Hello and welcome. This channel is all about house plants, plant shopping, plant care tips, and any other planty stuff. If you're looking for a channel like this, this is it. So please subscribe. Okay, today I am going to do a different style of video. Instead of talking about plants, I want to do a Q&A. This is my first Q&A video. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I am just very excited to answer some of the questions that you guys have for me. Some of them are plant related, some of them are more personal. Um, I'm happy to share. I don't really have secret. So yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. So I will um, quickly go through those questions and thank you again for sending those questions to me. I remember I posted on Instagram and Facebook story about three weeks or a month ago. <laughs> I did not expect to receive so many questions from you guys. Yeah, I appreciate that you took the time to send those questions over to me and yeah, let's jump right into the Q&A. First question, how many plants do you have? Oh my gosh, this is not an easy question to start with. I don't have an exact number here, but I would say between 70 and 80. I have been trying to keep my plant collection small, at least under 100. I have very limited window space, and once the space is taken, it's taken. I don't add growth light. This is just not me. I don't want my plants to touch each other and I want to have that airflow. So yeah, that's why I don't have a lot of plants at home, but all those plants I have, I love them so much. If I bring some plants home, I would give some plants away. Um, at least this is the way that I have been doing to keep my plant collection small kind of <laughs> second question does your husband like plants my husband does not care much about plants but he will not say anything if i bring one plant or multiple plants home um, he also would not uh, ask me or judge me if I spend a little bit more money this month on plants. So I am very grateful about that. And whenever I need to go plant shopping or film YouTube video like this one, he would take baby duty so that I can focus on uh, my hobby or just enjoy being around plants. Next question, what is your day job and how do you balance that with your plant hobby? I am an instructional designer, aka corporate trainer, aka training specialist. I design and develop all types of trainings, including e-learning, in-person um, training, or some training materials. I also manage training programs. The second part of the question is how do I balance work and hobby? To me, I think the key is planning my time. So you all know, plant chores is not always easy and it takes time. While doing all the plants can take hours and sometimes we have repotting to do, we need to propagate our plants, we need to remove um, the falling leaves or brown leaves, a, a lot of work. Um, I usually just plan my time. For example, on Monday, I would water all the plants in a specific room and on, um, Tuesday, I will water plants on the other room. Of course, it might change, depends on the season. And I usually film my YouTube videos either after work or over the weekend. That way I can make sure my husband is taking care of the baby. And you know, when you have a baby, you have very, very limited times and you have to plan ahead for all the events that you have. So yeah, I am trying my best to balance work and hobby. I think I can do better, but I'm still learning and hopefully one day I will have no struggle at all. Yes. Next question. How often do you buy new plants? Mm, this is such a good question. I got asked very often. 
I think it really depends. I purchase more plants during the growing seasons and fewer plants during the winter months. And I purchase more plants during the month of September, October, and November. The reason is very simple. As the temperature drops, a lot of people have to bring their plants indoor and this is the time that they figure out, oh, I'm running out of space. So there are just a lot of people um, do purchase when there are so many plants in the market, you know, the price would drop. And I think this is also a good time to um, get some of the plants at a more affordable price. Right now is the middle of November. I have purchased four plants already. And the month of October, I have purchased eight or nine in total. We have a special guest today. This is my son. His name is Eli. Hey, can you look at the camera, please? <laughs> he is seven months old. He's such a happy baby. Thank you for the smile. I got some questions about motherhood and he just woke up. So I thought maybe he can join us. All right, let's take a look at those questions. How are you doing? How is new mom life? I am doing good. I feel tired from time to time because this boy is not a good sleeper. Sometimes he'll wake up two times or three times at night, especially right now he's teething. I'm still trying to figure things out and hopefully this boy can sleep more than eight hours for me. Um, being a mom is such a different feeling. I am very grateful to have him. He is definitely a very special gift from God. He makes my life more meaningful mm -hmm. and I also start to see myself from a different angle. So yeah, he is my beautiful angel. What is the most surprising thing about becoming a mom? I did not know I can love someone so much and unconditionally. What brought you to the Midwest? Do you ever want to move to the coast or city? I came to the Midwest, Omaha, Nebraska about 10 years ago. I was an exchange student. After I finished school, finished my degree, I got an amazing offer from my graduate school. I was a graduate assistant, which means the school paid for all my tuition and also pay me monthly. That that was so amazing. Like who can say no to free education, right? <laughs> and uh, before I graduate, I got an amazing internship at my current employer. They also applied for my work visa and that's why I was able to stay in the United States. Work visa is so expensive and that's why a lot of companies, they rather hire local than international students and I totally get it. And that's why I am very, very grateful for my employer. They did ask her to get me stay with the company. And yeah, I just appreciate that mm. so much. Will I consider to move to the coast? Of mm. course, there are so many great opportunities there and I have a lot of friends living there mm. as well. Another thing that I wanna consider is the cost of living or the quality of life. You know, everything is more expensive there and I do love the quality of life here. If I can maintain that, yes, I would definitely consider to move there if the, if the right opportunity comes. Eli is so sick of me holding him, so I let him play on his toilet. <laughs> okay, next question. Favorite season, hands down, summer. Although it's a little bit hot, but everything is so green. I just love green. Green is my favorite color, if you don't know. And I'm sure my plants appreciate that extra warm temperature and humidity. What is something that you learned during quarantine? Be grateful for everything and everyone you have in your life. To be honest, I'm quite homesick right now. The last time that I saw my parents was two years ago when they came to United States to visit me. And a few months after they flew back home, COVID-19 happened. I mean, it's still going on. Um, I am not able to fly back home. 
I guess I can, but I only have three weeks of vacation with my current employer. If I fly back home, I have to do a 14 days hotel mandatory quarantine plus seven days quarantine, which is three weeks. So I will not be able to spend more than three, four days with my family. So I'm still waiting and I hope next year 2022 will be a better year for all of us and I can really can go back to China to see my parents, to see my brother and my niece. Yeah, the last time that I saw my brother was four years ago. That is so insane. Opinion about moss poles. I think moss poles are great because they can provide strong support for your plants to grow vertically and get bigger leaves. However, don't forget to water your moss poles whenever you water your plants. It is important to keep your moss poles moist so that that aerial roots can really grow larger, grow longer. If you have a hard time to keep your moss poles moist, maybe you can try to use a wood board instead. The wood board usually have a larger contact area that can also provide support to your plant. A lot of people have great experience using them and it can also help your leaves, your plant leaves grow bigger. How do you know when big box stores will stock? There are a few places that I usually check. The first one is my local Facebook plant groups. Whenever there is a restock, people usually post there. If I see something that I'm interested in, I would check my local Lowe's, local Walmart. The second place that I check is BrickSick.com. I am very interested in the Costa Farms hanging baskets. They have the 6 inch and the 8 inch. There is a UPC number or the barcode number for uh, those two hanging baskets. By typing in the UPC number in BrickSick.com, it will show you the number of baskets, hanging baskets that your big box stores have. If the number was 4 yesterday and 24 today, I know that there must be a new shipment and that will be the time that I go check out my local big box stores. But sometimes the number, the inventory information might not be 100% accurate because there's always delay. Another place that I check is also a Facebook group. It's called the Big Box Store Plan Watch. People from all over the states would post their new finds at Big Box Store there. So if I see, oh, Arkansas is so close to Kansas or Missouri, if they get a shipment, my local store might also get a new shipment. And if this is the plan that I'm interested in, I would check out my uh, local Big Box Store more frequently this week. How do you balance newborn parenthood and planned parenting? I'm struggling. Postpartum really kicked my ass. I really think the first three months postpartum is the hardest time in my life. I was physically and mentally tired. I didn't have help from any of my family members because they're in China. And my husband's family is in Omaha, Nebraska. So we basically did everything on our own. I didn't get enough sleep because this little baby need to eat every other hour. And can I talk about breastfeeding a little bit? Oh my gosh, it is so hard, especially to a new mom. He was born with jaundice, so I was struggling with my supply at the very beginning. That mental stress really drained my energy. And I tried to pump, but I don't know why, I just couldn't even pump one ounce. And I had so many lumps on my boobs and it was so painful to remove them. If you don't remove them and then you go to bed, oh my gosh, when you wake up, it feels like you got hit by a truck. It, it was crazy. Anyways, all I want to say is taking care of a baby while taking care of yourself and your family is not easy. It's very difficult and you are doing an amazing job. Don't worry about your plans right now. 
this is your priority and spend a moment to be with your baby because oh my gosh this boy he grows so fast i really wish i took more pictures with him especially when he was a newborn it is okay that your plant has one or two yellow leaves it is okay that they get underwater or over water a little bit it is all right it is common and very normal that you feel struggle in this phase of your life it will be over trust me and if you feel stressed talk to your husband talk to your family member everything will be all right what is the most you're willing to spend on a plant i feel like i have a budget but i also don't have a budget but if a plant is more than 50 dollars it usually takes me more time to think through it if i really like it today do i still like it in a month so i give myself a longer wait period if i still like it a lot then i probably will purchase it of course i will not purchase any plants that is over 200 300 dollars this is just ridiculous to me uh, but so far my most expensive plants is also about 50 60 dollars if you really want that plant and it's quite expensive i just want you guys to think about is your plant purchase going to impact the quality of your life if you have to be in debt to purchase it if you have to eat ramen noodles every meal in order to pay for it is it really worth it just think about it make smart decision okay i think i'm going to end this video here because my baby is quite distracting and i do want to spend some quality time with him if you want to get to know me better feel free to connect with me through instagram or facebook i am pretty active there i post stories there all the time and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you can don't forget to hit the bell button to turn on all notifications so that you will not miss out any of my future videos Okay, my name is Nicole. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.